Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were all nestled snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Me in my kerchief and Papa in his cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out of the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster to midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and it tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his course as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, oh Comet, on Cupid, on Donna and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly. When we meet with an obstacle, mount the sky. So to the housetop the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning round, <gasps> down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bind. Dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard of his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held in his tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger on the side of his nose, and giving a nod, the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.